In all the years of doing computer repair and running my business, it never ceases to amaze me some of the surprising things that I find when I open up a laptop or a desktop. Now you would think when you open one of these up that you will find electronics. But a lot of times when I open up these computers, I get surprised with something a little bit more than just the electronics. Hello everyone, I'm Tim with Tim'sComputerFix.net. I'm here in the Savannah, Georgia area. If you ever need any help fixing your computer here, uh, please look me up. I'll be glad to help you out. You can find me at my website at Tim'sComputerFix.net. So drop by there and I'll have a look at what I offer, services that I offer, and find out a little bit more about myself. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the strange things that I found in computers. I'm going to touch on that a bit. I mean, everybody knows about them. Anybody that, it, that has ever taken apart a laptop or a desktop for a living or do it just for a hobby, uh, I'm sure have run across some of those surprising moments when you find things like, well, the first thing that comes to mind to me is dust. Just baked on, caked on dust, piled up all around your CPU heat sink or clogging up the video card fan or or making the computer overheat because all the vents are clogged up it almost looks like fur we sometimes refer to it as a fur coat this this in the computer uh, and it could cause major overheating issues uh, and over time without the computer being cleaned out ever blown out that dust can accumulate into dust bunnies and then the dust bunnies can then turn into dust monsters I mean pretty much uh, rendering your cooling system useless so it's always good to get in there and get that stuff out a couple times a year I always suggest smokers oh it's got to be the worst I've even gotten to the point where sometimes I'll reject certain laptops or desktops especially desktops uh, some of the gunk I find in there I don't have a choice but to clean some of it out in order for the computer to cool itself properly so it's pretty bad there you know, there's even other stories. Uh, Fuber Johnny, for instance, he, he brought me this nice one. How about Scorpion? A Scorpion in a laptop. You would have never thought you found that. That's a good find there, Fuber Johnny. Fuber Johnny is a great technician, and we go back several years. I cannot wait to hear what his next discovery will be in those computers. Um, some of the other things that have been reported and seen in computers that I've even seen on desktops that sit in like warehouses or like mice or rats or rats nests oh gosh it's the most horrific thing I'd want to find in a desktop computer is a rat's nest oh spiders dude spiders I hate spiders I've opened up many a desktop had and laptops actually have had spider webs built all in there and, and, and you know underneath that motherboard or up in that power supply somewhere there's some spider, you know, sitting up in there living, can't stand them. I think, to me though, the worst of it all would be cockroaches. Ugh! That is the most disgusting thing that there could ever be when you're trying to work on a desktop or a laptop computer. So you're sitting there, you're trying to troubleshoot a computer, and all of a sudden one of these little guys just comes running out of the back of the computer onto your desk. You're like, oh! I just gives me the willies. I just hate it. I get my shop fumigated uh, every other month. I get I get exterminators to come in. These computers coming in from all over, no telling what might be in them. But I have a little tip for you if you ever get a, a desktop computer or, or a laptop computer that has a roach infestation if you're trying to figure out what the best way to go about that is. I mean some people um, including myself may reject certain computers that have an infestation problem but um, here's one tip um, that might help you uh, at least get past that and not spread those insects throughout your your house or your shop so say for instance you have discovered that the laptop that you just got in has insects or roaches in it um, what you want to do it 
when you get one of these is immediately put that laptop or computer in a paper bag, plastic bag, put in a plastic bag, this is plastic, put in a plastic bag, okay, and then set that aside, and you may want to do this outside, in your back shed, or under your carport, or wherever, starting off here, okay, then get you a paper towel of some sorts, one, two, maybe even three, okay, then you want to get you some bug spray, some rope spray, and take take your rags. You can ball them up, okay? Ball them up, lay them on the ground. Don't don't hold it in your hands. You lay them on the ground, and you take your bug spray, and you soak them down. Okay, two or three of them, wherever you want to. Okay, once you have your paper towels soaked with your poison, for desktop computers. You want to have the side panel off of the of the case, okay, and have that computer in the bag, or or actually, if you want to, you could pull the side cover off. Do this outside. Have the side cover off. Take you these rags, place them on the bottom of the case inside the computer on the bottom, where they're not touching any of the components. You know, just just the metal at the bottom of the case, and then you could then take that desktop and with the rag sitting at the bottom and put it into your plastic bag. Trash bag is what you're going to need for a desktop. A big trash bag, a hefty trash bag or something like that. The way I do it sometimes, I'll put that desktop in the in the bag first with the side cover off. I'll wet up my towels with what I need and then I'll just hold the bag open and I'll, I'll throw these in right at the bottom of the desktop computer and I'll seal up that that trash bag and there you go now for laptops it's a little different because laptops obviously you don't want you don't want your rags you know sitting sitting anywhere on on the surfaces of your of your of your laptop because the chemicals that are in the bug spray may discolor the uh, the surface or the finish on that laptop so what I do is you can get Ziploc bags of any kind. I mean, you can get bigger ones than this. I just I just put the, put a balled up rag in a Ziploc bag, even a bigger one. Go ahead and just spray inside the Ziploc bag. Leave the bag open like this. Leave it open, and then you can just take that and, and toss it in, toss it into the bag, and then from that point, both your laptop and desktop. Just seal it up. Seal it up. Tie it up. Okay. And then what you want to do, make sure there's no openings so no air can get in. And what you're basically going to do is fumigate that computer. I usually do this and I'll leave it um, out of my storage utility, which has a lock on it out back. Um, you know, but you can, it's probably safe to do this indoors as long as you know uh, that there's no holes in the bag for your little critters to get out. Um, and I usually leave that like that for at least a whole day with me, uh, sometimes even a couple of days. I'll leave that in there like that. And that there's no way for the bugs to go. Uh, the bag fills up with the fumes. There's no way for the fumes to escape. And, um, you know, after you're done there, you remove it from the bag. You can kind of blow out or whatever, clean out whatever bugs you see, dead ones. And, um, and then, you know, usually a, a couple of hours of it being aired out, you know, um, outside or something. You know, you could usually, the, the smell of the bug spray usually fades away and boom, you can continue to maybe troubleshoot that computer. But with me, I mean, depends on how severe the situation is. I mean, the really bad ones I refuse to work on. But I just thought I'd give you a little tip on how I deal with uh, infestations. A different type of infestation, not a virus, but actual bugs and insects. Um, but I'm going to switch gears a little bit here on you. This video, this next repair that I did, was done on a Lenovo laptop. And 
it was my other technician and I discovered this really strange issue and I've never come across it before so I'm not going to tell you what the issue is or how it was solved until my next video but if anyone out there would like to take a guess on what this issue is try to maybe give a diagnosis of of what the issue might be and uh, post it down into the comments I'd be real curious if anybody guesses it it'd be kind of fun to see if anybody can guess what's going on with this laptop um, it's nothing major not a major problem you know the computer operates just fine except for this one problem that we discover and you'll see here coming up in the next footage the one issue we discover and we've solved it we figured out what it is and we've solved it but see if you can guess what the solution is and and what the issue is um, and then put it down into the comments see if you can guess it um, first person to guess it right I'll I'll mention your name in the, in the in the next video I do that tells you that, that gives the solution to the problem and the correct answer to the repair um, it's kind of a really strange issue for a laptop so I mean if you even come close you know I'll give you kudos for it uh, just thought it'd be something fun to do guys put your brain to work here let's, let's see if you can figure out what the issue is with this Lenovo laptop okay let's check it out He does have a password now. Ooh. Really? Let's go from over here though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did it just stop? Yeah. Oh, now I ain't gonna do it. So what do you think the issue is with this laptop? Hey, that same noise comes out of that laptop even when it's fully put together. 
That's one of the reasons why it was in our shop. So take a guess, see if you can figure it out, put it down to the comments, and we'll see you on my next video, you know, who gets the answer right. So hey, I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here in Savannah. Visit timscomputerfix.net. Thanks for watching my videos, and until next time, everyone, see you soon.